Hi everyone, it's Amy, and today I decided I was going to be playing a new, a kind of new indie game. It's called The Space In Between. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. And June, what is the answer to problem 14? You have absolutely no idea what the professor is talking about. You have spent the previous night watching anime instead of doing your work. Uh, all of a sudden, you feel a kick from the side of your desk. It's 47, a voice whispers to your right. You see Miles. Okay, so I think Miles is like our love interest. A week later, you two sit at the beach pier listening to the street performers at the s as the sky turns from a soft pink to black. Will you be my girlfriend? Yes, Miles. Baby, don't you know that you're my golden hour? The color of my sky. You've set my world on fire. And I know, I know everything's gonna be all right. I don't know how the song goes. You're now five months into your relationship. Okay. I can't believe we're, you're driving us two hours just to go stargazing. I officially won the boyfriend lottery. The lookout spot will be pretty. Okay. Mm. It's also in the middle of the woods. If a bear tries to eat us, you're fighting it. <laughs> I'm running for help. Sounds like me too. Okay. We get you, June. Okay. Glad to know you're committed <laughs> to our safety. I bet I'm a faster runner than you. Oh. Well, when you see a bear, you're gonna see who's a faster runner, Miles. I got it. I distract the bear by seducing it, and you can run into the bear and knock it over. Then we both run away. Or the power of fear will run motivate me to run faster. I think we need to devise a plan. We'll tell him our plan, okay? I'm very seductive. I can seduce this bear pretty easily. Do not say that I can't. Um, you're saying I'm not pretty enough for the bear? You're telling me, your own girlfriend, that she's uglier than a bear. Wow, Miles, you're doing a really great job being a boyfriend. I tell you you're pretty all the time. Yes, but when a bear comes, what's gonna happen? Are you just gonna ignore me? Hmm? Oh, I didn't know. What? You have a thing for bears? You want to break up with me, but you don't know how to break the news, so you're gonna let me die instead. Let's not say that, because he might take the opportunity. So, let's say you have a thing for bears. No, I do not. That's why you think the bear won't like me, because you yourself want the bear. Okay, we're coming to a conclusion that Miles likes bears instead of us. Let's set up a blanket and lay down. So we're going on a beautiful stargazing trip, and I'm very excited. Do you know what constellations are? No, I wish. Okay, you are now stargazing with Miles. To form a constellation, click and drag between. Okay, we get it. Whoa! Okay, is this right? Is this what we're supposed to be doing? Okay, I know what this is. This is an oval. This is an O. Okay, this is an O. I see a white rabbit candy. What is a white rabbit candy? I don't know what either of those are, so I'm gonna click one. Oh, okay. What's that? It's a Chinese milk candy. My parents used to buy it for my, my friends and me to eat when I was younger. The rabbit in the pack. Okay, we get it. It's a rabbit. It's a white rabbit for candy. It's candy with rabbit. So is that our mother? Is that a teacher? Who is that? Oh, this is our mom. You know, there was this one time our Chinese school teacher was sick, so my mom was a substitute. Everyone loved her. She'd tell stories during class, and she made learning Chinese entertaining. I was so proud. Everyone told me they wanted my mom back. Look, God, hear me out. You're really addressing God right now? Beg God or thank God? We don't beg, okay? Where are June? Junes do not beg. Thank God. Thank you, God. Okay, I know we have our differences, but I gotta say, you gave me a pretty hot boyfriend. You did give me a really shitty appearance in a questionable fashion sense, but you did well in the whole love department. Huh? Okay. June, he can be kind of annoying sometimes, but God, please don't listen to her. You know what? Listen to me, okay? And with that, I gotta say, amen. Is it here? Wow, that's not a camera. People who are in long distance relationships would love that. Do you think you could do one? A long distance relationship? We better FaceTime every day. We better say good morning, good night. We better say how our day is going, even though it could be the worst of the day or the best of the days. I swear if you break the news to me that we're gonna have to do a long distance relationship, I'll be kind of sad. So yes, I think we could do that. I need to be optimistic about something in my life and it's obviously not my career prospects. Wow, same. Seriously? What? It's better than having nothing. Do you think that's why we're dating? 
because we both deal with things way beyond a mental capacity. Wow, Miles, you're being very deep right now. Are we gonna dig a little hole in the sand and see what comes up, Miles? Because that was very deep, okay. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's do the circle one. A circle. I see a record, I see a CD, I see a circle. How do you see a record? I thought life's problems could be solved through listening to good music. Now it's just representing a person I can never be again. Okay, June, we, we have to talk about what's going on. I don't think so. That part of you, the one that gets excited over everything, is the reason I wanted you to be my girlfriend. You're the one who constantly tells me to appreciate the beauty in the universe. Oh my god, Miles, thank you. Remember when we went to karaoke? Are you talking about New Year's Eve? Yeah, didn't feel simple then, despite everything that's happening in our lives. That night was one of the last moments I thought everything was going to be okay. When we were counting to New Year's, I really thought I was going to put my past behind. I thought there was no way this year could be bad, but here we are. Excuse me? I'm here. I can make it better, okay? Trust me. I'm not one to believe in miracles, but I want to. For you. Oh my god, Miles. So, I can't fix this. I kind of messed up. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Wow. That's not a tree. How was that a tree? I see the pond. <laughs> Boston Commons. What? The night before we left for college, my friends and I went to the commons. We stayed up until 4 a.m. Wow, that's really early. Er, late? Early? Talking about what we would be like in college, and we all promised to keep in touch with each other. But then everything happened, and I haven't talked to any of them in so long. I feel like they've all moved on with their lives. I think that happens. Yeah, but you never know if one day you can't say sorry. I was listening to this new story about this phone booth in Japan that doesn't work. A lot of Japanese people died in the 2011 earthquake and people started going to this phone booth to talk to the dead. Anyways, some put a microphone in there with permission and the NPR did this whole piece about the phone booth. Interesting, that sounds very weird. I don't like to think about grief like that. I was listening to recordings and it was painful to hear even as a bystander, but after that I realized it's never too late to reconnect. The fragility of human life is terrifying. Wow, okay, we're getting somewhere. What do we say? You need to give yourself the chance to be forgiven, or there is one recording of a guy talking to his mom. I started thinking about what'll eventually happen one day and we'll have to all these years where we didn't see each other. Let's comfort Miles. So you need to give your chance, yourself the chance to be forgiven, okay? But doesn't that mean I have to forgive myself first? Yes, it does, Miles. So, there you go. What? Is this an arrow? Does this remind you of an arrow? A tree. Oh, okay. I don't want to speak of the events at Joshua Tree. I said it wasn't that bad. Look, I don't think that seeing your girlfriend cry needs to happen after a certain number of dates. But I feel like our third one was definitely too early. I blame you. You're the one who brought it up. I'm just saying Joshua Tree cannot be a constellation. Uh, I'm just saying Joshua Tree cannot be a constellation. I didn't realize it was gonna make you cry. Well, you suggested two movies, either Lady Bird or that random sci-fi film. How is Star Wars a random sci- Are you uncultured in not knowing what Star Wars is? I'm just saying that I will never let this down. On my deathbed, I will look back in my life and be like, Oh, remember that time you cried? Not just a single tear or two, but sobbed on your third date with Miles? I will remember. I think that's a bit dramatic. What's dramatic is sobbing during a movie where you're trying to impress the guy. My cool girl disguise was gone by the 15 minute mark. Okay, so we weren't that cool during our third date with Miles, so. The reason I cried so much at Lady Bird isn't just that I see so much of my mom and her mom. It's because they're able to reconcile at the end while I'm not able to. All of these books and movies where if you just wait around long enough, they'll come by. But this is my real life. One that can't be wrapped in a nice second ending. Wow, that's sad. There's a moment when Lady Bird goes, I wish you liked me. And her mom replies, of course I love you. But then she's like, but do you like me? And honest to God, I don't know whether I would be able to ask that question with like or love because I don't think I'm ready to hear the answer to either. And so June has a problem with her mom that we don't know yet, but it really traumatized her. June, you shouldn't be ashamed for any of that. Oh, June, I'm sorry you're going through this. Thanks for listening.
Of course, June. Miles is always here. You're always here for Miles. Great relationship. Wow, beautiful. And is this a Christmas tree? Or a, a weird, a, I don't know, the Mona Lisa. Okay, that makes more sense. It's a triangle, okay. Asian people make tea by putting in leaves alone, grubbing up. I didn't even know that tea bags existed. My Lao Lao, I don't know what that is. Give me white people tea. Is Lao Lao Chinese for grandmother? Yes! Okay, so it's grandmother. Our grandmother. Uh, we should drink tea on the weekends and as she gossiped about the Chinese boys in our carpool group. We always got along because she was accepting even though she grew up in rural China. Or she told me she thought you were handsome when you met. Let's talk about Miles for a little bit. I'm glad I have her stamp of approval. The fact that she likes you even though you aren't Chinese is big. Is that supposed to be an accomplishment? Yes, Miles, it's supposed to be an accomplishment. That's so sweet. What does she think? of your mom okay um she probably knowing our grandma right she loves us so she probably doesn't think that's happening right now even though it is she probably like nah that's that's not true well the very foundation of her family has been ruined so it makes sense what's this gonna be i see a volcano my friend Catherine used to call me a volcano girl or i see a mountain in your neighborhood the one that we drove last time i visited let's be a little romantic um do you remember when we met we hung our feet off the edge of your trunk and we talked about what we wanted in our relationship yeah you're actually the first person i brought there that night solidified that I wanted to be with you, or why was I the first? No. Yes, let's ask questions. Why was I the first, huh? It always feels like my spot. I didn't want anyone to come and ruin it for me. Oh my god, Miles, so I was the first? Okay, why was it different for me? I wanted you to see what was important to me, and I finally felt ready to invite someone there, regardless of what happens to between us. Aw, oh, Miles. Personally, I think we'll do the big one because I think that's more important than the little I appreciate you. Are you trying to hit on something? Don't worry, I've already made that mistake in this relationship. If we break up, I can never listen to my favorite album again. Then maybe that's a testament to how good our relationship is. Before you, I totally thought I was going to be single for life. Scratch the Colonel Sanders dating simulator. This is like a whole real life dating simulator, even though I've never dated anyone. I think this is like more accurate than that. Okay, so this oval looks like a diamond. Are you gonna propose to me? Oh my God, Miles is gonna propose. Okay, that's a sun? It's specifically the sunrise on our second date. Really? Yeah. That's really wholesome. Okay, explain. That day changed what I had thought previously about love and relationship. I never thought I'd find someone who got me instantly. That was legit me before I met you. Or to think that something so inherent as loving is something we didn't believe in. Let's do that one. Whenever I was with anyone else, I always felt like I was forcing them to validate me. Okay, Miles, you don't... Okay. The trick is to validate yourself. That shit is hard, though. People have their own lives, and I've always felt, as a guy, it's harder to ask for affection. I don't know if you remember, but we were taking turns making assumptions about each other, and you were like, a lot of people may not notice it, but you're actually quite thoughtful. I didn't think that anyone thought noticed the effort I put in. Oh, Miles! A lot of my friends didn't get it because they knew me as this happy person and everyone moved on from me. When I stopped putting in the effort, it was basically... It was barely better... It was barely better than the time I took off. I bet they didn't notice what to say once they realized you changed. So then, when I met you, you kept talking to me and though I was pretty awkward, I felt like I finally had someone. Oh, Miles! I just had this thing. It's called a crush on you. Oh God. Well, you came into my life right when I needed it the most. Oh my God, this relationship with June and Miles is so cute. I see a circle. I don't know what this is. Oh, sure, a peach. I always ate them growing up. When I was younger, my mom and I used to go on walks in our neighborhood. She'd steal peaches off the neighbor's tree. That's a little weird, uh, June. It's a Chinese family thing. I feel like we all grew up watching our parents steal fruit. Are you? That's not allowed, I think. Yeah, that's, isn't that illegal? 
Uh, maybe, probably. Or uh, my mom's not intimidated by the law. Maybe, probably, most likely, yes. There's more? Okay, this is a balloon. This is 100% a balloon, and I swear if this is the Mona Lisa, this makes no sense, and I'll be very sad. This is a lamppost? Okay, these are getting more ridiculous at the second. The amount of times I've shared my secrets because it was late at night and I was in my fields is embarrassing. Then the next morning, I'm like, ah, mistakes were made. Okay, I know that feeling. There was one time I liked this guy and we were messaging late at night. I just started sharing my entire life story because I was like, he is going to get all my life trauma and fall in love with me. Wow, June. Great, so subtle. But then he ended up ghosting me. Yeah, but I hold on to things that aren't meant to be. Duly noted. Okay. No, but like, I think we all want to be loved so badly that sometimes we show parts of ourselves that we regret. Like what I just, whatever I said. We regret some things, okay? Or I want to prove the cynical point of me wrong. Now let's, uh, we sometimes regret the stuff that comes out of our mouths. <laughs> So we're in a good place right now, and that's good. A teardrop. When we went, uh, when it was very cold and it was uh, raining. This is a rain. Okay, it's light. I used to go to the Lantern Festival there every year when I was still in Chinese school. They made us do dances. One year, I was a lily pad. Wow. Yeah, but none of them stuck. I'm not doing the cultural dances anymore, or really anything from back then. I seen, I see how it is. Now you see me as a lazy adult. No, I do, I'm nothing stuck. Everything that I did, nope. I'm never going to pretend like I know what you've been through, but you've had a rough couple of years. The fact that you still have the capacity to empathize with people, to get people your all, it's a testament that you're a good person. I see um something. I don't know. This is the book. If it's not a book, I'll be very bad about it. It's a book. I got it right. Okay. I see my journal because it was the only thing that brought me comfort when I took time off school. And I think it deserves its own constellation. You don't strike me as a journal person. My therapist makes me write one. If it's that important to you, then I think it deserves a constellation too. Aw, June. Oh my god. This whole relationship is so cute. I wasn't the type of person that anyone wanted to be friends with. I had all these goals that I put on hold. Now that I'm finally getting better, I could have done so much more. You're doing great things now. You're doing great things now though. You're back at school and you have me and so many other people. Yeah, if the past didn't happen, the present wouldn't have happened. So if you didn't go through that, you probably wouldn't have met June. And right now, I feel like June is very good for you right now. But mental illness isn't who you are. You're an amazing artist, you're a good boyfriend, you see people for who they are. You're not just a good boyfriend, you're the greatest boyfriend. His, uh, uh, up here, and you're right now down here because you just said good boyfriend. He is being honest with you, he's expressing how he feels, he's being very open, and you say you, he's a good boyfriend? If anything, I need your patience. Okay. Are you thinking? What am, what am I thinking? We should combine ourselves to form the perfect person, learn from each other. Okay, so telepathy. We, we were close, okay? Combining ourselves to form the perfect person and learn from each other, close enough. And I would love, no, let's not, down, let's not go downwards on ourselves. Uh, we would make a great person. Agreed. Hey, June. Yeah. I really hope you know how amazing and resilient and special you are. No matter what my current situation is, I hope you know we can always talk to me. I'll always be there for you. Mal shifts his body to lean towards mine. Our faces so close I can hear his breath. You're my person. I used to dream about what being in a relationship was. I had all of these fantasies about guys throwing rocks at my window and making me playlists to fall asleep to, but what happened between us is even greater than anything I could have imagined. No matter what happened in my life, having you here has made it all worth it. Really, you're worth it all. You're worth it all. Miles, I love you. Remember that one time you walked me home after the Father John Misty concert? Yeah, you told me you wish your past self could see you now. I remember. I wish my past self could see me now. 
Stars shoot across the sky. Did you see that? I've never seen a shooting star before. And then you should make a wish. I did. What did you wish for? I don't think I'm supposed to tell you. Oh, did he wish about a relationship? Oh my god. I don't like this rule about wishes. I don't think anybody does, but we have to keep it a secret if it's gonna come true. You'll know what it what well, you'll know what it was soon. Really? Let me tell you this. What I wished for just came true. Just now? I wished that I would fall in love this summer, and I did. Oh, this is so cute. I can't. I can't with the cuteness. This is so cute. Oh my god. I love you. I love you too. Not just that. I love how you're up unapologetically yourself no matter what. I love how you dance when no music is playing. I love how you get excited over the smallest things like seeing your favorite food at the grocery store. I love that you have the worst luck when it comes to dating, but you still took a chance on me. I love the way you say yes to all of my weird ideas. I love that you get more beautiful and determined each day I know you. I love that I get to witness your growth. Oh my God, Miles, you're so cute. I'm gonna cry. This is adorable. This is the most adorable dating simulator I've ever seen. Please tell me you rehearsed that because it was way too smooth otherwise. I did give myself a good pep talk in the mirror before tonight. Oh, this is so cute. My heart. I, I, I have no words. That was beautiful, okay? I'm surprised this isn't an indie game. This is, this is a really good indie game. Even though we never actually found out what happened between June and her mother and, and Miles' problem between his mental health, it didn't matter because that had nothing to do with the dating simulator, but it brought them closer together. And this is so cute because Miles was so supportive of June and June was so supportive of Miles and they love each other and they express themselves. It was good. Chef's kisses. I love this. This is so good, and it's still February, so I can still do this. All of February is Valentine's Day season, or love season, because we don't care about Valentine's Day. It's love season, okay? So anyways, I hope you liked this video as much as I did, but if you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything. I'm going to put this game in the description if you want to play it. It's free on Steam, so... Go to get it right now and play it. And I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.